नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी इम्यूनो स्टिमुलेंट्स एंड वी नो इम्यूनिटी इज द ओवरऑल डिफेंस मेकानिजम ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल ऑर्गेनिजम अगेंस्ट एनी इन्वेडिंग एजेंट और पाथोजेन एंड व्हेन द एंटीजेन इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इनटू आवर बॉडी वी डेवलप द एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट टू द एंटीजेंस एंड द स्टडी ऑफ इम्यूनिटी इज इम्यूनोलॉजी and the drugs which uh, st stimulate our immune system are called immuno stimulants so uh, the immunity is provided uh, either through innate immunity or acquired immunity this acquired immunity can be either active or passive immunity or it can be naturally acquired or artificially acquired and then uh, for details you can refer to our uh, previous classes uh, and there are three lines of defense uh, uh, the physical or surface barrier is the first line then second line is the non specific response through vascular events and cellular events and um, vascular events uh, 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 include vasodilatation and uh, increase in vascular permeability and there is uh, for there is involvement of four proteolytic enzyme cascades including complement system then the cellular events include the blood cells uh, like uh, uh, granulocytes uh, monocytes and uh, uh, the tissue cells the other than blood cells and they they pro provide us the non specific response and when this uh, uh, physical or surface barrier is not sufficient uh, non specific response uh, uh, provides us the immunity and when non specific response is not sufficient then specific response provides us the immunity through acquired immunity and uh, so there is a um, role of you know in specific immune response uh, the when the antigen uh, enters uh, infects a cell uh, or enters a cell uh, the antigen is processed and the cell becomes the antigen presenting cell and uh, it uh, it is expressed in the form of major histocompatibility complex according to the major histocompatibility complex uh, it is either msc1 or msc2 the t lymphocyte with specific cluster of differentiation will interact with it and uh, there will be role of either b lymphocytes or the t lymphocytes the t helper 1 cells t helper 17 cells t regulatory cells yeah t helper 2 cells and then cytotoxic uh, t cells so all of them uh, they um, they uh, provide us the immunity so that can be provided through either through antibodies or humoral immunity or through the cytokines like interleukins transforming growth factor interferon tumor necrosis factor or they can directly kill the infected cell that is called the cellular immunity so the immuno stimulants uh, uh, they include either the cytokines or the uh, thymic peptides or some thymomimetic agents uh, which uh, stimulate the thymus gland or uh, some other drugs so we can classify them immunostimulants uh, first as the natural adjuvants or microbial derived macrophage activators the first vaccine vaccine which uh, a, a newborn baby takes is the bcg vaccine uh, so that is the uh, immunostimulant uh, then other drugs like romurtide mirabutide uh these are microbially derived macrophage activators then the lipid a analogs like mucophosphoryl lipid a uh, then uh, uvenimex then thymic peptides like thymosin alpha 1 thymopentin and some drugs uh, which uh, uh, stimulate the thymus gland thymomimetic agents like levamisole thalidomide a derivative of thalidomide like lena uh, lenalidomide then dto car or we can give the cytokines uh, cytokines uh, like uh, interleukins uh, including interleukin 2 interferons colon stimulating factors which uh, which may be either granulocyte colon stimulating factor or granulocyte macrophage colon stimulating factors example of granulocyte colon stimulating factor like filgrastim 
peg field gas steam, lino gas steam, granulocyte macrophage colon stimulatory factors like sar gramostim, and there are some recombinant uh, cytokines like aldase leukine. So, all these drugs uh, are used as immunostimulants. And where they are used, they can be used uh, in uh, cancers, uh, skin cancer or melanoma, renal cancer, and any other cancer as an immunostimulant. For example, levamisol, aldase leukine, these are the drug of choice. Then they can be used uh, for treatment of neutropenia. Neutropenia is low neutrophils caused by again the anti cancer drugs. So, drug of choice like sargramostim is used to stimulate the bone marrow to make the WBCs, including the neutrophils. So, this is all about uh, immunostimulants.